What is up guys, Floodmon? War Team here, and we're gonna do some more time duels to start this episode. At the end of last episode, we did time duels uh, 37 through 40. So let's do, uh, let's do like four or five time duels here. 41, let's do it. Okay, Valkyrian, that's a big old boy. Okay, we both got 3,000, what's this? Minefield Eruption. Inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent for each face-up mine golem on your side of the field. After that, destroy all face-up mine golems. What's the effect of mine golem? When destroyed as a result of battle, I see. Uh, premature bear. So we've got some life points here. Mmm. And I'm guessing there's a third mine golem in our deck? Ah, okay. Alright, so here's what we have to do, guys. Giant rat. Attack mode. Nope. Premature burial. I, I'm guessing, you know, it's pre it's a pretty obvious hint, left face down. I'm guessing we just basically have to activate minefield eruption to its utmost effect. Now, I'm not going to chain. No, no, don't chain. Don't play it yet. We don't want the volcano to erupt yet. Now, kill giant rat. Throw yourself into his magnet warrior. Uh, hopefully, this will leave us with just enough life points. Uh, yep, just enough, just enough. Uh, will he chain? No, 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 don't chain. Now I special summon another Mind Golem. And speaking of Mind Golems, looks like he stepped on a landmine. Now, go, Mind Field Eruption. This destroys all my Mind Golems, and you take a thousand damage for each one. Pretty obvious what you're supposed to do there. They left you a big hint there. All right, let's check out this one. Blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes. Man, they like to do that. Three blue eyes. Okay, what's in the graveyard? Three Skull Servant. Oh, do we have King of Skull Servants? We do. Interesting. Huh, Dark Factor of Mass Production. Don't know why they'd give us that. Hmm, let me think here. Let me think. Hmm. Let me think. Let me try something here, guys. I know this sounds weird, but let's take two Skull Servant out of the graveyard. Hmm. Right. Because we do still need to do 2,000 damage. Okay. Back to square one. We'll send one of the Skull Servants right back to the graveyard. Okay. Doesn't matter which blue eyes. They're all the same, really. Now, I, now I activate Tribute to the Doom. What? That's one of the rarest cards in all of Duel Monsters! Alright, and so we'll destroy this blue eyes. There we go. Now, it's time for you to race, face the wrath of the King of the Skull Servants! Alright, King! Attack his blue eyes! Go White Lightning! We'll destroy each other! But, check this out! My King has a special ability! When it's destroyed in battle, I can remove one Skull Servant or King of the Skull Servants and bring it right back. Go! Secondary King of the Skull Servants attack! Mighty Ruler of the King! Ah, nice! We did that one first try, first try. Alright, next. Meteor Black Dragon, Black Skull Dragon. Interesting. Pretty powerful cards there. So we got Shinado. Hmm. So Shinado does have the effect, if I remember it right. Yeah, when a defense position monster is destroyed as a result of battle, flick damage. Hmm, so it's kind of got a flame wingman effect, but the monster needs to be in defense mode. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Snatched, ooh. Hmm, Snatch Steel. Book of Moon. I see, I see. So we actually don't have enough level stars to ritual summon. So... I think what you need to do here, Snatch Steel, you actually want to take the weaker monster, Black Skull Dragon, because you want to do more with uh, Shinado's effect, I think. Uh, so next, you want to play Shinado's Arc to get out Shinado. Nope, don't chain. Offer B Skull Dragon. Decide. Decide. There we go. Okay. Shinado, king of a higher plane. Uh, yeah, because this card's defense isn't too high, right? Yeah, it's at 2,000. Okay, so you want a Book of Moon targeting his Meteor Black Dragon. Okay, Mad Dog of Darkness. All 
one right, and this has to work right. I can't see any other way to do enough damage this duel, because this will do 35, right? There we go, yeah, and Mad Dog of Darkness will finish it up. Okay, so, yeah, that one was pretty, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. All right, next duel, 44, let's do it. Skull Invitation, huh? Blazing and Pachi, what's this face down? What's this? Guardian Sphinx, wow, 2400 defense. Two Blazing and Pachi, hmm. But well, we need to do 3400. How are we gonna do that? Uh, hmm. Oh, we do have Skull Invitation here for extra damage. Okay, I think you wanna start. I play Swords of Revealing Light. Now I special summon. Heal Sars, front and center. This will let him summon an additional monster, but we want him to summon an additional monster. Why? Now I tribute my Heal Sars for the legendary Dark Dust Spirit. When this card summoned, all your face-up monsters are destroyed. And thanks to Skull Invitation, you'll take 300 damage for each one. Dark Dust Spirit, destroy his life points. Interesting, interesting one. All right, make the most of Skull Invitation there. All right, we'll do 45. Yeah, and I think that'll be good enough, 48 through 45. And after this, we will uh, uh, we will continue. Okay, so he's got Gakugaira Panda. Two Gakugaira Panda, okay. And we only have uh, 100 points. What's the effect of this card? Offer one normal monster to inflict 800 points of damage. So it's kind of like a cannon soldier for normals. So I gotta keep in mind, we can do 1600 with um, with these two guys. I think, and his pandas get boosted for each monster we have. So I think what you actually want to do to start, right, we want to reduce the number of monsters on our field. Go, man, throw, throw, chuck a dark blade. Okay, and so now, now we do have Pitch Dark Dragon. So now that these are at 1800, I think you want to summon Pitch Dark Dragon. Okay, use the effect of Pitch Dark Dragon. Equip it, because we want to reduce the monsters on our field. Okay, so now this is at 1800. So we should be able to do 400 with Dark Blade. Yeah, go Dark Blade. Legendary Double Sword Slash. Okay, and then, once again, we do it kind of like a cannon soldier. Go, Mantro Throw, because this is not once per turn. Mantro Throw, chuck that Dark Blade, and end this duel. All right, all right, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. The key there is use Mantro Throw first before you enter the battle phase. Uh, that way, you reduce Gakugaro Panda. All right, with that, we got five more time duels done. All right, so let's go ahead and definitely save to that. Yeah. Yeah, let's overwrite that data, baby. And with that, let's uh, go to sleep. Go to tomorrow. Sunday. Where should I go today? All right, let's see who we can find. Anyone new? We found someone new yesterday. Yeah, this guy, Seder. Uh, I guess I'll try to duel him if I don't find anyone else new. I'm surprised we found someone new there. Anyone at the volcano? Chumbly, delicious. You want a duel? Nah, not right now, chum. Not right now. A lot of people here. Um, yeah, let's see if we can duel. Uh, where was he? Right here. Let's see if we can duel this guy, Seder. Ah, you must be the one clamoring to learn about duel theory. Now, now, now. No need to be embarrassed. I have plenty of lessons planned, planned. Oh, I guess we can duel this guy. No, you cannot win on theory alone. You must physically compete. Very well. I will face you. All right. And I forgot. Uh, uh, let me think. What was his voice like in the anime? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, because he had that, like, cooking deck. He's like, hey, hey, mon, I, let me add some more spice to the mix. Now, now I play my, uh, my, uh, spell spices. <laughs> I don't really remember his voice, though. It's been a while, and it, plus he was only featured in really one kind of main episode, so, uh... But man, his voice in the anime was hilarious. Uh, let's see. I will go with... First turn, we'll just set Footballer. And we'll end our turn. Go ahead, man. 
dueling has a number one. Draw a card. You, oh, you already know that, huh? -huh. Let me add some spice to the mix. I add two face downs, and in my turn. All right, Sinister Serpent, return. Let's set threatening roar. Yeah, all right, so let's steroid in attack mode. Let's see if you got some traps, Teach. Ah, no traps, but I smell a mirror force. Go, Steamroid, charge in. Ha ha. Here's another lesson. Activate your face downs. Magic cylinder will reflect your attack. Ah, very good, but I have threatening roar in case you try to attack me next turn, Teach. All right, and I don't even think this guy dueled in season one. According to Jewel Theory, it's time to activate my spell card. That's a good spell card. Let me add some more spice. Graceful Charity lets me draw three cards and discard two. All right. And he didn't attack Steamroid. That's kind of surprising, honestly. Um, got Gigantes. That's good. Um, okay, well, he didn't stop our summons last time, so let's summon Goblin Attack Force. Let's, uh, let's see what other trap he's got. Go, Steamroid! Charge in! Will this work? Oh, it does! A-Team Trap Disposal Unit. Hmm. That doesn't tell me much about whatever deck he's running. I am very, very curious, like, because I know in the anime he had a spice deck with, like, all these spice cards, and he had, like, a big old curry pot. Radius, huh? Yeah, that still doesn't really tell me what he's running, so, like, I'm really, 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 really curious what kind of deck did they give Seder in this game? Interesting, because I, I, obviously his spice cards are anime only, so, yeah. Another face down, hmm. So he's still not attacking us. Interesting. All right. Well, we got another Steamroid, and he didn't stop us last time with that face down. So I guess let's just summon another Steamroid. Why not? All right. Take this, Seder. My Steamroid will gain 500 when it attacks your monster. Let me guess, Penguin Soldier? Ah, oh, that's eh, close enough. Hey, hey, close enough, close enough. Ha ho! Now my Hain Hain will use this legendary sickle sight to return your team run to your hand. All right, Teach. All right. So he's got the usual suspects, you know, Magic Cylinder, Hain Hain. But I still don't know what kind of, you know, monsters he has. Ah, I see that other face down. I see it. I see it. All right. All right. We draw. Uh, oh, he's gonna play it right away. Here's another lesson. So not to activate your face downs like this. Oh, Call of the Haunted. That's, again, another standard card. Another standard card. All right. So let's uh, s switch Goblin Attack Force to Attack Mode now. Uh, let's see if he has a Magic Jammer back there after all this time, because we got two Smashing Ground. I activate Smashing Ground. Aha! So he does have Magic Jammer. Here's another lesson. Activate Magic Jammer. Alright, not bad, not bad. I think we'll save the other Smashing Ground unless he plays anything threatening. What do you discard? Gradius' option! Ah! So yeah, check this card out, guys. You can special summon it only when Gradius is on the field. And yeah, the attack and defense of this is always a, the one of Gradius. And if Gradius is destroyed, maybe he runs like a Gradius deck. Interesting, because I don't think I've seen anyone else play Gradius option, so... Interesting. I think we'll save the other Smashing Ground, like I said. Uh, for now, let's just do damage here. Go, Steamroid! Charge up that engine and drive into his Gradius! Ever seen a train take it down a plane? Well, you just did, Teach. Now, my second Steamroid! Charge into his monster! Ah! Another great. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think he's definitely running, like, some kind of, like, Gradius deck, and I guess maybe he, like, plays cards like, maybe, like, limit or removal and equip cards to increase one Gradius. That way he can play a Gradius option, right? And all of those will be increased as well, because the attack and defense of it's always applied, so I don't know. I don't know. Da -da -na -na. Time to act. Ah, oh, Snatch Steel. That's yeah, standard, but, uh... My force can't change its mode this turn, right? Yeah, kind of a misplay by you there, Professor. Kind of a misplay. Kind of a misplay. 
thanks for the extra thousand, I guess. Um, well, with that, I think I'll change Battle Footballer to Attack Mode. All right. And now, I summon... Uh, ooh. I activate Smashing Ground, Teach. This will destroy your Goblin Attack Force. What? What? Why did it destroy my own Battle Footballer? I'm sorry, what? What? It's supposed to be on the opponent's side of the field. What? What happened there? That's not how that was supposed to go. What? Aw, oh, man. Well, whatever. I summon Sinister Serpent. Why did Smashing Ground destroy my own monster there? I'm confused, guys. Is Smashing Ground bugged in this game too? Jeez. Well, whatever. Sinister Serpent, take out Goblin Attack Force. Because I was going to destroy Goblin Attack Force and then special summon Gigantes. Uh, but... Okay. Hmm, well done, but not enough to ruin my lesson plan. Yeah. Well, Smashing Ground ruined my lesson plan. I was going to take you out this turn, but... Whatever. Uh, I guess main phase two, I will special summon Gigantes. In attack mode. Yep, so I will banish Goblin Attack Force. Defense mode. Alright, I don't... What happened there, guys? What in the world happened there? I have no idea. Alright. Yeah, because earlier when we played Smashing Ground, it worked correctly, right? Uh, well, no, 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 he magic jammered it. That's right, that's right. Hmm. Well, anyway, hopefully the duel's over. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because even if he has a 2,000 point defense monster there, we should be good. Steamroid, charge in and attack his last monster. What was it? Space Mambo, interesting, interesting. All right, well, to get more damage, Sinister Serpent, Poison Fang Attack. There we go. Hmm, well done, but not enough to ruin my lesson plan. Ah, will this be enough to ruin your plans? He got this. Attack him directly. You learn quick. It looks like I should have added more spice to the mix. Ah, oh, man, 634. Pretty good points. Well done. Perfect tactics and strategy. I feel like making you my assistant. Uh, why are you making that face? <laughs> uh, good one. Alright, let's see who else is out here. We got Beauregard there. So like I said, uh, no Duel Giant event yet, so if I see Briar, I will duel him. Yeah, because it is kind of late at night. So I, 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 I duel, let's duel. Deep breaths, cleansing breaths. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, Briar. Let's do it, young Scala. Alright, and this will be the last duel of this episode. And we will continue... Next time, duel, I draw. All right, looks like we got Threatening Roar. That's good first turn. We also got Mystical Space Typhoon, Morphing Jar. Um, I'm just going to summon the Mobile Manga. I remember this guy having a lot of piercing monsters, so um, I'll also set Mystical Space Typhoon just in case. All right, I end my turn. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. It's my turn. I draw. Yeah, what you got? What you got, buddy? I, I think Great Angus in attack mode. Yep. Alright. Yeah, destroy my Momoga. Attack! <laughs> oh, yeah! With what? I'll attack with Great Angus. Alright, but we'll get two more Momongas. No, don't shame. Yep. And we'll set another one. Yep. Alright. We're good. We're good. Any face downs? Ah, one face down, two face down, three face down. All right. Our turn. I draw. Graceful charity, huh? Ah, ah, I reveal the face down card on my field. Uh, Robin Goblin, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, let's see if he's got a magic jammer. Let's try Mystical Space Typhoon on Robin Goblin. And if it works, I won't be too upset about that. Nope. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. All right. That way we don't have to worry about discarding cards. Uh, and we know he doesn't have Magic Jammer. So 
Let's play Graceful Charity here. Nope. One, two, three. Discard two. Uh, so we got Kuragane. Nothing really powerful in the graveyard, though. Not yet. So we'll discard Kuragane. Ooh, we got United We Stand, though. Interesting. Mm, let's discard... Mm, let's discard Meteor Rain for now. Yeah, decide. All right, and let's just try this. Let's try summoning a Momonga. You might have Trap Hole. It kind of ruins my plan if he does. Okay, no Trap Hole. Okay, and we know he doesn't have Magic Jammer. All right, a little risky, but let's try this. We'll try United We Stand on one Momonga. All right, and hopefully he doesn't have Mirror Force. Magic Cylinder will be fine. Well, I mean, it'll cost us some points, but it'll... Yeah. I, I reveal... Okay, Negate Attack? That's fine. Negate Attack is fine with me. Um, main Phase 2. Let's set Magician of Fate to get back Graceful Charity. All right, that's good. That's good. We'll end our turn. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't Mirror Force. It wasn't like, you know, uh, Magic Cylinder either. So we're good. Oh, Tribute to Set. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, my, my turn's done. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised he... I mean, he tributed, so... I'm pretty sure no matter what, he could have taken down this Nimmo Momonga, but... Whatever. I guess I'll take back Magician of Faith. And actually, he's only got one face down. So, I'm actually gonna take back Mystical Space Typhoon. Just in case, guys. Just in case. Okay, so we'll activate Mystical Space Typhoon on his last face down. What was it? What was it, Briar? What'd you have back here? What'd you have, buddy? Let's see, let's see. Uh, Minor Goblin Official. Oh, okay, kind of a waste there, but whatever. Uh, let's just go for it. Battle face time. Nimomomonga, attack his face down. Swift feet, scratch attack. Uh, oh, oh, this guy. This guy. <laughs> Okay, I remember someone else doing the, this in this LP. Yeah, let me tribute set Jinzo. What? Like, what kind of move is that, bro? Honestly, you would've been better off, like, summoning Jinzo, because I had Threatening Roar, but I couldn't have stopped your attack. So you would've been better off, like, taking down my Nimmo Momonga, dude. Like, what was that? Uh, I guess main phase two. I'll set Jar, and I'll set, uh... I'll just set Megamorph. We can't activate Scapegoat currently, so... Psh, what a weird misplay. What a weird misplay. Yeah, let me tribute set Jinzo. That sounds like a good idea. All right, what you got now, Briar? Another face down. Hmm. All right. Well, we haven't seen Mirror Force yet, so... Okay, nah, nah, nah. Don't do anything yet. Uh, let's play Morphing Jar. Hopefully we get Extermination. That way we can just end the school outright. Uh, so I will activate Morphing Jar. Oh, I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Now I activate Level Minute Extermination. Now I'll exterminate your last face down, Briar. Oh, Magic Jammer. Yeah, okay. I, I reveal a face down card on my field. Yeah. Discard that Magic Jammer, son. All right, and I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Just to make sure we've got enough damage. Uh... Now I play Monster Reincarnation. I'll discard Scapegoat to add back Die Greffer. I discard that. Let's see. Yeah, Die Greffer, return my hand. Make sure we have as much damage as possible, just in case. I think this will be enough, though. I summon Warrior Die Greffer. Oh, and we're at 24 minutes. All right, let's see if we can wrap this up. We're winning the duel. We're... So Nemo Malong was at 5,000. Sweet. Okay, well, let's uh, do as much damage as possible. Let's do... Thousand. Go! Swift feet, tail, scratch attack. All right, looks like we've won, guys. Legendary Saint Magic Staff. Do-do-do. Go, Morphing Jar. Send his monsters to the graveyard. Legendary Eye Beam. Warrior Die Greffer, go! Sword Strike! Man, I love how Warrior Die Greffer's sword glows. That is awesome. Imma Momonga, Swift Feet, 
Scratch attack. We win. Oh, what can I do? You can do nothing, Briar. We win. Game over. All right, interesting duel there. Uh, only 350, but we did get 10,000 uh, damage. So, yeah, that's pretty good. N no! If I wasn't so nervous, I wouldn't have lost. I wouldn't have. Uh, if you say so, buddy. You sound pretty angry there, huh? Maybe you want to become a, a, a more giant presence. A, a dual giant, eh? Maybe next episode? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, we are at 25 minutes. Which is pretty long. But uh, yeah, we're going to end this episode here. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Be sure to like, uh, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying these episodes. And I will see you all next time. Have a good day. All right. Interesting deck from Seder there with the Gradius. Gradius option. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. All right. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn the scare off back here. I think I forget it. I forgot to hit the